The coronavirus shattering the American job market for now. Another 6.6 .6 million people filed for unemployment last week. That means roughly one in 10 Americans have lost their jobs in just three weeks. And the, California has seen its first daily drop in ICU cases. The number is a key indicator for how many health care workers and medical supplies the state needs, though the governor says the decrease does not indicate a trend just yet. And homeless infected, two people living on the streets in Sacramento have now tested positive. The first sign the virus may be spreading among the city's homeless population. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. We begin with that new surge in unemployment with millions of people who already filed still waiting to get their first payment. CBS 13 investigator Julie Watts is getting answers for those who are struggling. Julie? Yeah, you know, we actually just heard that uh, the state will start adding the extra $600 to folks' weekly unemployment checks, but that's only for people who have already qualified for state unemployment. They'll automatically get the federal $600. We're hearing from people who are struggling to qualify for their state unemployment due to EDD errors and denials that they think are wrong, and they don't know when they'll get their state money, let alone the money from the feds. I don't feel like they've announced to anyone how we're supposed to be receiving any checks or any money. Tina Pasconi says she filed for unemployment weeks ago and has heard nothing from the EDD about her state unemployment, let alone the federal money. How do we pay our phone bill and our internet and everything when we're not getting anything back from the state? And now it's a waiting game while she struggles to feed her family with no word from the EDD on when or if she'll get the unemployment they need to survive. So if this is happening to me, I'm sure it's happening to other people, which is really unfortunate because we have kids. And she's right. We're hearing from dozens of viewers waiting for answers or confused by EDD errors. Some say the denials they got from the EDD claim they had zero income over the past year when in fact they did work. For others, their scheduled phone interviews with the EDD were disconnected before they could speak to anyone. No one called back. We asked the EDD to help us guide these folks, but did not get a response. We hope to ask the governor to weigh in, but we're not given the opportunity to ask a question at today's press conference. Though yesterday, he seemed surprised when another reporter asked about EDD problems, noting their main phone lines are only open from 8 to noon. Uh, to the extent someone's open just four hours a day uh, for critical services, I I'll have to learn more about that. And there's still no word for the millions like Tiana struggling to feed her family while she waits for a response from the EDD. Now, the EDD says it has processed nearly 2 million claims over the last three weeks. It's very impressive. But we learned today that those process claims include people who have been denied and people who this, the EDD is still working on their claim.